Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. So the main story of K-Zero is basically getting out of town before the military comes and just, you know, blows shit up and kills everything inside the town. And the subplot is basically, Katie here is becoming a zombie and you have to get the cure for her, but that's a very small plot in this kind of short game. The main plot is to basically build this bike to get out of town. And that's basically the story. There's uh, one major enemy besides a billion zombies trying to kill you, and the story's not really that amazing, but it wasn't supposed to be. Um, surprisingly, the voice acting is much better than Dead Rising 1, and you, you know, you actually kind of care for these characters this time around, whereas in the first one, I didn't give a shit if anybody died. So I thought that was refreshing and much better on Capcom's part. But as far as the story goes, this is exactly what it's supposed to be. Just just the opening of the massive game of Dead Rising 2, because God, you know how long those games can last, but the point is, it's just the opening. I've always enjoyed the uh, look of Dead Rising, it's more cartoony, similar to Saints Row, so the graphics do feel like the first one, definitely more polished, definitely not as ugly as the first one, definitely more zombies on the screen due to technology advancing, but I would say that, you know, the graphics aren't an overhaul of like, oh my god, now this game looks amazing. It's basically one more polished. If you like killing a billion zombies on screen, the game still does that for you. Few frame rate issues here and there and stuff, but nothing to cry about really. Some people will bitch, but overall the graphics are actually pretty good, especially for a downloadable game. Basically, K-Zero gives you just a taste of what you'll be able to do in the full game. You basically, in the new feature of this game, is gathering two weapons, combining them to make a super duper, oh my god, I'm gonna fuck zombies up, weapon. Uh, you can take nails in the bat, create a bat with nails on it to do more damage, duh. You can take um, a paddle and put a chainsaw on it so you can kind of wield it, like a staff. And it's kind of cool to just run around with this chainsaw on the end of a paddle and slash the shit out of zombies. So definitely a cool feature. And there's a bunch of stuff you can combine. But again, it's very limited since it is the kind of like the just the first chapter of the game. And not even the first chapter, the zero chapter, haha. <laughs> uh, and basically you get to make a few weapons, get to kill a few zombies but just a taste of what you can do in the full game. But it's definitely a cool feature, and it seems to, you know, want to add from the gameplay of the first one, where it's basically you just pick up a weapon and kill things. In this game, you gather weapons, and then you create your own weapon to beat the shit out of zombies. And again, the gameplay stays very similar to the first. Kill a bunch of zombies in your way, and basically save survivors. That's... <laughs> nothing's really changed. But it's just more fun to actually create your weapons instead of just keep picking them up. The only really negative thing I have to say about the gameplay is it still feels stiff at times. The combat, you know, could use work. I understand it's just one button to do everything in terms of attacking. But, you know, they could always advance it and make it better. But this is Capcom. If it, if it works, why fix it? That's their policy. Resident Evil 5, anybody? I love that game, but come on. Point is that it doesn't really change from the first one except the combining of the weapons. So the gameplay is very similar to the first. However, if you had a blast with the first Dead Rising, then you're going to probably love this one. I didn't like the first Dead Rising, but in this one, creating my own weapons and being shit as zombies for some reason has opened my eyes to the joy of just slaughtering hundreds of zombies with your own made weapons. So definitely a cool feature and definitely adds a lot more enjoyment to the gameplay section. <laughs> It's definitely a game you'll enjoy for the price of five bucks. You get to slaughter hundreds, thousands of zombies for fun. It is limiting yourself, but then again, it's only a small taste of what you're going to get from a full retail $60 game. But it works. It lasts about two, three hours, and you'll have fun. And the story actually seems interesting this time with the voice acting not sucking. Capcom, how do you do it these days? How do you get those voice actors that don't completely suck like your old games? I don't know. Point is, if you enjoy Dead Rising, or if you didn't enjoy it, at least try this game out. If you like combining the weapons and slaughtering hundreds of zombies, it's a ton of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely worth the price, and let's see if Dead Rising 2, which I will review this weekend hopefully, is as good as this game. Well, I would hope it would be, because I mean, if the, the, you know what I'm saying? If this little small game isn't as good as the big game, then the big game is like, well, what the fuck did they make it for? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm gonna shut up.